He sexually abused college students for nearly a decade. Now the so-called master manipulator Larry Ray is sentenced to 60 years in prison and prosecutors say that Ray ran this sex cult just terrorizing his daughter's classmates at Sarah Lawrence College in upstate New York. He befriended them and then exploited them psychologically and emotionally. Joining me from outside federal court, ABC senior investigative correspondent Aaron Katursky. So Aaron, why this, was this outcome that prosecutors and victims were hoping for? Is, is this enough? They had asked for a life sentence, Kira, but the judge said he wasn't going to do that, but he effectively imposed a life sentence with a 60-year prison sentence handed down just moments ago to Larry Ray. Ray is 63 years old, so six decades in prison effectively puts him in prison for the rest of his life because what Ray did to these college students, the judge called sadism, pure and simple. He moved into his daughter's dorm room at Sarah Lawrence College befriended some of her friends and then used psychological manipulation and physical abuse to lure them into this life of, of sex trafficking in some cases or, or to really degrade them into believing that their lives were worthless. The judge said he took every little bit of light from their lives. And victims got up to speak today to Larry Ray, who sat there passively showing no emotion in his wrinkled beige prison garb, and, and, and they described horrific experiences that they endured from their relationship with Ray over a 10-year period. So the details, as you touched on there, are, are so disturbing in this case. How, how did this all come to light? And also, where does his daughter fit into all of this, what she knew, didn't know? It was never really clear what Talia Ray ended up knowing, but it was her friends that suffered at the hands of her father. He had just gotten out of prison on an unrelated case and ended up moving in with his daughter in her dorm room, a very strange circumstance to, to, to say the least. And, and it was her friends that became uh, enslaved to Larry Ray. All of this was laid out in a magazine article and when prosecutors ended up reading it, that's when they began to bring their case and they showed the jury uh, a lot of photos and videos that Larry Ray took uh, of, of, in some cases, sexual depravity and, and other horrific instances where he would brandish a knife standing over a, a young man and, and instruct someone else to line a bathtub with plastic to catch the blood and the body parts that he said he would render. Uh, I mean, just awful, awful things. And, and finally, uh, once it all came to light, the judge said that Larry Ray never thought he would get caught. Uh, and, and, and finally, his past caught up with him today. Well, I'm, I'm glad it did. I just wish it wouldn't have taken so long. And, you know, he moved into his daughter's dorm room after he was released from a New Jersey prison in 2010. How in the world was he allowed to do that? How in the world, indeed. We're waiting to see if Sarah Lawrence College has any statement, but at the time, they, they preferred to, to focus not on what had gone on, in some cases, on its campus, but, but now that he's been caught, prosecuted, and sentenced, that's where they prefer the, the, the focus to be. But these students, some of them dropped out, some of them uh, described years of therapy to try to, to recover from, from the, the psychological, emotional, physical, sexual abuse that they endured at the hands of, of Larry Ray. And today, when he had the opportunity to address his victims, he didn't say anything about his crimes, didn't say anything about the, the college students that he tortured. Instead, he spoke about his own failing health and, and how he would have preferred a much lesser sentence. So any word from his daughter, uh, victims, families, any reaction from the sentencing that you can, can give us, Aaron? We heard only, only one. Most of the victims who were in court today preferred not to speak to us, but we heard from the representative for one of the victims, a, a woman named Claudia Drury, who was forced into prostitution and made millions of dollars for Larry Ray doing so. Uh, he starved her, she developed an eating disorder. I mean, horrible, horrible things. And her representative told us that the, the, that the judge got it right, that this 60-year sentence, effectively a life sentence for Larry Ray, is exactly what he deserved, Kira. Indeed, Aaron Katursky, thank you so much.
Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.